Welcome. In this video, we'll discuss processes and best practices for setting up, customizing, and rolling out the Outlook integration with Salesforce and how to extend it further with Salesforce Inbox. Over the course of this video, we'll identify the benefits of and requirements for using the Outlook integration and Salesforce Inbox in Salesforce, list steps for setting up the integrations, talk through customizations options for the application panes, and summarize best practices for rolling out and going live with the integrations. The Outlook integration with Salesforce gives sales reps who use Outlook and Salesforce the best of both worlds. Instead of switching between the two applications, sales reps get a completely integrated experience between Salesforce and Outlook. See matching contacts, leads, accounts, and other Salesforce records, log emails sent from Outlook directly into Salesforce, and create new related records right from Outlook. These capabilities allow sales reps to eliminate time spent on redundant data entry tasks in both applications and access a single source of truth that helps them craft meaningful, targeted email communications to prospects and customers. In short, with Salesforce's Outlook integration and Salesforce Inbox, sales reps boost their efficiency and productivity and are better able to focus on what matters most, their sales. You might be wondering how the Outlook integration differs from the Outlook integration with Salesforce Inbox. This table gives a quick overview the Outlook integration provides a lot of fantastic productivity features, which can be extended even further with Salesforce Inbox. There's no doubt that the Outlook integration or the Outlook integration with Inbox is a real time saver. But before putting it into place, you need to make sure that your system meets some requirements. Here are some important things to consider. Which email server do you use? An email server is the system that stores and delivers email and calendar event data. Server options for the Outlook integration are Exchange Online with Office 365, Exchange 2019, 2016, or 2013 on-premises, and Exchange Online with GCC High. Please note, this last option is not supported if you also use Salesforce Inbox. Which email client do you use? An email client is the application that allows users to read and write emails and calendar events. Desktop and web email client options for the Outlook integration are Office version 16.0.11629 or later, running on Windows 10 version 1903 or later, including Office 365 or Office 2019, retail only. The volume and retail versions of Outlook in Office 2021, Outlook 2019, unless it is a volume licensed version, Outlook on the web, and new or legacy Outlook for Mac 2016 or 2019. And finally, for our Outlook on web users, which internet browser do you use? Supported browsers are the most recent stable versions of Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Windows only, and Apple Safari. Now that you've got some of the basics down, it's time to walk through steps that will help you successfully set up the Outlook integration and Salesforce inbox, if that is also part of your package. Getting the integration up and running is a straightforward job. Follow these steps to toggle on the Outlook integration. First, open Salesforce setup, enter Outlook in the quick find box, and then select Outlook integration and sync. We toggle on the let users access Salesforce records from Outlook setting, and then expand the section to find additional setup options. If your reps use Outlook on web, remember to add the domains that you want to allow access to Salesforce to the Microsoft Outlook web app domain section. If you use Office 365, allow Salesforce access from the Office 365 Outlook on the web domain. If you're using custom Outlook for the web domains, add those domains to allow access. Next, if Salesforce Inbox is part of your package, enable Inbox and grant user access. Scroll to Inbox in the Outlook integration and click on Edit Settings. This will take us to the Salesforce Inboxes page in Setup where we can enable the Make Inbox available to users setting and enable different Inbox features. Next, let's assign permissions to the sales reps that need access to Inbox. Click on Assign Permission Sets and then we find the standard Inbox permission set we want to assign. There are a few different permission sets that include Inbox, so make sure to check out our help documentation first to find the one most suitable for you. 
From here, we click on Manage Assignments, then on Add Assignments to begin assigning this permission sets to our chosen sales reps. Now before sales reps can start using the integration, they need access to Salesforce within Outlook. One of the ways they can do this is by downloading the Salesforce add-in from the Microsoft App Source site. To find the link to this page, we navigate back to the Outlook integration and Lightning Syncs page. Scroll down to the Give Users the Integration in Outlook section and click on the Microsoft App Source link. Once we share this link with our individual sales reps, all they'll need to do is click the Get It Now button and follow the download instructions. Alternatively, your Microsoft Exchange Administrator can install the appropriate add-ins and give all of your team members access simultaneously using the manifest file. This will not only speed up the rollout process, but can also help prevent setup issues. Once the Salesforce add-in is available, users simply log into Microsoft Outlook and click on the cloud icon in the Microsoft ribbon or in the email body if they are using the Outlook web app. For a more detailed breakdown of the implementation steps and optional features, check out the Outlook Integration Implementation Guide for additional guidance. Ready to customize the application pane so that your reps get the most out of the integration? That's up next. You can tailor the Outlook integration pane to better fit your rep's workflow and your company's processes. For example, depending on your end user needs, you might want to customize the application pane by showing different fields. You can configure this using the compact layout setting in Salesforce Setup. Remember that only the first three fields will be displayed in the application pane until you drill down into the record details and you can also assign different fields to different record types. Or you might want to customize the pane by adding global actions, which will allow you to create additional records like a new case or opportunity record. Once you've created these actions, you can assign them through setup. You can even customize the pane to show particular information based on different user profiles. As we see here, a sales user's pane might show information that's different from the information in a support user's pane. Users with inbox licenses can be given access to even more productivity features. For example, including meeting availability options in their email. After the email is sent, the recipient can click one of the options to immediately book a time slot for their meeting. If the rep's calendar fills up in the meantime, the recipient only sees the time still available. Other inbox productivity features include the ability to schedule emails to send later, create text shortcuts for their most commonly used phrases, track email engagement, and use Salesforce templates as a starting point when composing emails. Pretty cool, right? All that's left is to roll out the integration. Let's learn best practices for going live. There are a few best practices you should follow to ensure your rollout of the Outlook integration and Salesforce inbox goes smoothly. Best practice number one, test. Identify pilot groups made up of Salesforce power users, team leads, and executive sponsors who will test features and processes, act as a champion for the tool, and report back with their findings. Consider creating a Slack channel to share user feedback and drive adoption. Best practice number two, train. Conduct hands-on trainings in pilot users' own environments using real-life, relevant workflow examples. Then, encourage users to explore the Salesforce and Outlook integration module on Trailhead to learn even more. You can even gamify your trainings and reward active users with company swag or recognition in Slack. Best practice number three, talk. Send an email to announce the adoption of the Outlook integration and Salesforce inbox and to provide setup guidance. Then, keep the lines of communication open by sending pre-training reminder emails and sharing post-training resources. In this video, we've identified the benefits of and requirements for using the Outlook integration and Salesforce inbox in Salesforce. Listed steps for setting up the integration, described customizations options for the integration application pane, and summarized best practices for rolling out and going live with the integration. We wish you the best as you explore the Salesforce inbox and Outlook integration with Salesforce and discover all that it has to offer. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.